Doug. 5 a.m. start. Ladies and gentlemen, on Delta Airlines Flight 45 to JFK in New York. If you would like to invite any guests who require any additional time or extra assistance while boarding, to board now to gate 410. Hi! You okay with those? Here we go, drivers. Right, to the hotel. Are you alright back there? Should we go downstairs or I go for Lily and bring her here? Would you want to put all your tickets? Where is your Wi-Fi code? Oh. Is it like... Have you an iPhone? Yeah. Right, hello. It'll be easier that way. Give us a wee wave there, Ryan. Can you give me that back? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. My concern about reality and about uh, all these yeah. things, and it's amazing to to be able to to, to connect yeah. what I do with with this yeah. thing. It's it's, it's, it's incredible to help you <laughs> as part yeah. of it. Thank you. So did the orchestra rehearse this morning? Uh, yes, they have. They had the first rehearsal today in the morning. Um, they played all the music, and they are ready to start. Looking for a Mexican song. Yes. Oh, is this the theater? Yep. Nice. So they will sing with the orchestra or not? Hi, but not in the gala concert. The gala concert's just. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then um, we have strobes. Again, the strobes mm -hmm. will probably sit on the ground as well. Uh, and the strobes will be mainly pointing on around the players and stuff okay. to kind of mm -hmm. silhouette them in certain mm -hmm. parts and mm -hmm. kind of show them off. Mm -hmm. So this is day two of rehearsals, uh, we've come into the Baldwin, got everything set up, the orchestra started um, warming up and the entire electric is gone on the Baldwin, so some like roof lights are working but all the stages have went dark. Um, I don't know if this will pick up on the camera but we can go into the main theatre to show you how the orchestra is like playing, literally there's no lights and they're on stage. So yeah, there's like no light at all uh, in the theatre, there's no electric for us to turn on any of the instruments. Uh, it's kind of a crucial day for us to rehearse because the production goes on tonight. Um, essentially I'll have to start all the light programming, Owen will have to start working on the screen. Um, the screen's absolutely gigantic so the whole show's been filmed so we need to, there's just like loads of technical stuff coming up so slightly nervous now the way it's, it's all set. Yeah, ya te escucho. Uh, because 
because we don't have we don't have electricity and maybe we'll need it for tomorrow and if we don't have one maybe we need to get one somehow maybe with the with so cool or something oh, uh, okay so we have one but I think that one that we have is not um, is not enough because the voltage I think is in 25 and we need at least 120 okay see you here okay thank you We are fucked. <laughs> We're gonna go and he wants to to have an interview with you and he will really like to speak about his point of view about all the borders and and everything. So right now we're gonna go to the palace of Sapopan where the president of Sapopan is and have a, a chat with him and see how it's gonna how it's gonna be. But I think Everything's gonna be awesome. Hello. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Let me put this camera down. Okay. Nice Welcome to Sapopan. Thank you very Hello, much. Mr. President. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Ryan. Ryan, okay. My name is Owen. Owen, <laughs> Owen. okay. Yes. Ryan. Okay. ¿Cómo está? Hola. ¿Cómo estamos? Muy bien, ustedes? There's obviously some sort of a separation from the U.S. Mm -hmm. and Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Um, is it? Does it make you feel um, angry, or do you understand the need for a border, or what? Mm. what no, do you no, think? no. We we don't need borders between Mexico and, uh, and the United States. We need the uh, bridges yeah, uh, yeah. between our countries. One, two, three. This one. La, para el crédito que, que estamos solicitando con, con la agencia de viajes, güey. Me... ¿En, ¿En qué pueblo se encuentra con este viaje? We're here to do our first radio interview um, to publicize the show on uh, Friday. So Owens on camera as usual. Um, he's a, he's I don't know if he's a guest by now, but this documentary is pretty DIY, like the the entire project of Borders. So, yeah, we're going to the radio now um, and see what's happening. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes, the first one. Radio UDG. Birthday party? Yeah. Is that a birthday? <laughs> okay. Well, I will teach you how to drink tequila. Okay. Okay. Well, as you know, everybody outside Mexico yeah. thinks that tequila is a drink to get drunk and just like you have like a caballito and just go like. Mm. Yeah. And. There's nobody that actually enjoy the flavor of tequila. Okay. Okay, because they are drinking incorrectly. <laughs> because this one is very difficult to to hold them, you know, because if you put it here, yeah. you are warming, making hot the oh, glass. Okay. So big breath in. Big breath in. Drink. Let's do it together. Okay. Okay? Okay. Are you sure you did what, what was it strong? Um, After? Yeah. Well, actually, you did a very big sip, though. Right, so we're just doing a technical check here before the gig. There's a big box here, which is for the screen, which basically powers this huge LCD screen. Um, this audio interface is controlling the sound of everything. Basically, we have the orchestra um, going through the main desk, anything that Ryan has given me is going through this, anything I'm making is going through this. <coughs> the computer controls all that, the computer controls the visuals. So I'll sit here at the piano and we can control visuals from over here. 
press of a button. There's Ryan standing on a beach at the very top of Ireland and we're watching it in Mexico, quite surreal. Um, over here we have a base station which is a really simple base synthesizer which is nice for traveling and over here Ryan has various things, lights, he has this beautiful Behringer Model D. So we've had to bring this in and figure out a manual in Spanish um, to get the lights working. Wee buttons, it's just <laughs> faders, you just turn them up the lights come on. <laughs> um, and then we have our lights all around here, up at the top we have lasers, two stadium sized lasers, can you turn those on Ryan? Um, Let's do a check on them, you can see them shining around there. Obviously they're not going to look cool until the smoke comes in. We have a piano, a second piano who basically emulates some of the ARP. Oboes, clarinets, flute. I think we have a bassoon here. And here we have a double bass with its own platform, which is pretty nice. And then we have some monitors so that everyone can hear what we're playing. Uh, because it's been a real mission to try to get people to stay in time, basically. There's a click which keeps everyone together. Vladimir, the conductor, has headphones, which he clips in here. I have headphones, which I wear here, and that keeps us all together. Vladimir then conducts to the tempo or the click, which has all been done in the studio in advance um, and then here we have the score which is just fantastic um, some notes in Spanish <laughs> se cuenta no hay click I think that means there's no click and there's our label look in all its glory so this is really special I'd love to get one of these framed, or at least the front cover. It was Michael Doherty who did that arrangement. Gent, legend, talent. Um, so, and from Derry. So it's a Derry affair.
It was an excellent performance and uh, I think this, it was uh, quite different for the people of, of Zapopan because uh, this is unique and I think that uh, it was a really, really good experience and uh, really, really good music. So, congratulations to everybody. Gracias. Cheers and uh, congrats for Borders. <laughs> Salud. So Samuel went out of the here. Oh yeah, he went through the windscreen. He went through the windscreen and everything. He wasn't wearing a seatbelt. And and he left though, uh, but he have all cover of all his his bones were broke and all those Covered kind of things covered. Scratches. And when I so when I arrived to the hospital and and to talk to him and how he was and everything after see you this one he he was not able to move he was like this and I was like. Man, how are you? And he was like, good, Osito, good, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. And I was like, what happened? And, and he, he was not able to speak a lot. And he just told me, I was driving. And then I told to Turi, Turi was sleeping. So I told him, if you don't fucking wake up, I will crash the car. <laughs> he didn't wake up, so I crashed the car. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like fucking hell. He's really funny. And one day, when, when he received all the shotguns, in the gunshots. gunshots, sorry, in the in, uh, in the newspaper, they took a picture of him when they were taking taking it up in the ambulance, uh -huh. and in the picture was he was like this with All his hands shot. like this, with his thumb up, yes. <laughs> shot <laughs> a bunch the of times, I did. Greg, with a shot in the in, in the, the shoulder, in the shoulder, one in the throat, right, and everything. But he was like this. Yes. <laughs> for the picture. <laughs> it's just a piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously? Right, we're looking for a tall, pale Irish skinned man with a modern German haircut and trousers that are too small for him. 
Hey Benito, hey. ¿qué pasa? Yes, lads. What's great? Couldn't find you. Uh, what are you looking at? Well, straight to them off Christmas decorations. Oh. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Oh, what's this? White tequila. Mil ochocientos. Like a champ. What time is it? <laughs> Why are you giving it to me? Just leave it there and someone else will come along and... What? Hang on, if I can leave that there and someone else can drink it, that means someone else could have drank it before me. Oh, yeah. oh my god, that's disgusting. 40%.